Hey guys, how you all doing today? Hope you all woke up in good health and strength. Down to the North South America handball. We have a few places to go that we were invited to. Some is in June. We have about two in June. We have a 50th birthday party for my friend. And July, we have some barbecues. And August, I have a 50th birthday bash to attend. So, y'all know, we gotta go look for clothes. Sometimes I buy dresses and I save them in my closet. And then when I'm ready, I don't like them. So, we're going out to Macy's today. I have two returns to do. Let me show them to you. return this one because it's a little bit short and I like to dress my age I have this nice pink dress I don't know if it's too short maybe if you guys see me fit this you may say it's not but I don't know I feel like I want to return this and get something with a little bit more length I'm taking it back See if I can find something else. Let me show you the other one. This one. I don't want to go to pulling this from the bag. This is not short. But I don't know if I like it anymore. I like it and I don't like it. So... I'm going to drive with these two maces. We're going about 45 minutes away. And by the time I get there, I'm going to decide if I'm going to return it or not. So it's going to be me and George going because Kaylee goes to work. So we're going to just take this little trip together. I just enjoy taking you guys with me. And guys, if you are never yet subscribed, please. I am... Um, 400 and something away from 10k just please bring it to me now please please i depend on you guys i can't get there if you don't help me okay guys so me and george we're on our way to macy's we left out late it's about four o'clock now Georgia here. So, we park at 1D, guys. I hope we don't last. Guys, I'm standing in the line trying to return this stuff. Wish me luck because I don't know if they're gonna allow me to return them since I had them since last year. So, guys, guess what? They actually did not allow me to return the dresses because I bought them online and they said it's past the 37 days. So now I have to go back online and print a return sticker and I can do it that way. So guess what? We got to make ourselves useful. We're going to just walk around the store and tour, give a tour. And then also, I'm going to see if I find any other dresses to replace those. And then I'll do the return later on. So this is what we're doing here. We're just walking around and look and see if we don't see anything that catch your eyes and tell me I'm a bite food, no? 
<laughs> just joking so we're gonna walk on and see where we can see all right so gonna come along with us Look at these pocket books. Do you guys realize there that um, denim is coming back in? This is cute. Kinda cute. This is only 20 bucks. That's cute too. Nice to go evening bar. So guys, I was trying to buy these silver shoes, but they run very big. Even the five and a half was too big for me, so I had to leave it. Guys, look at the men's stuff. Look at these men's show. Polo. Guys, them pointed toe shoes, they are coming back in. Oh, these are cute. Cute and high. Well, guys, if I get one more pair of shoes, somebody beat me. Kind of cool. Okay, guys, me and Georgie in the fitting room. Guys, y'all see why I like to stay away from Macy's? That's because every time I go there, I get myself in trouble picking up stuff that I really don't need. 
I told you guys that I was coming here to get my dresses for the events and obviously this is not one of the dresses. This is just a simple little dress that I can wear out to the mall or to the dinner or a movie. But I just can't leave it. It's a little polar Ralph Lauren dress. Comfortable. I love it. I'm not gonna leave it guys. Hey guys, so I'm continuing my vlog from yesterday. It's Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. I'm getting ready and I'm going to church. I got up early this morning around 7.15 and I say, let me get started so I can be done by at least 10 o'clock. And don't you know, the devil tried me this morning. Guess what? I mixed a bowl of juice and put it on the counter. I was almost done only to squeeze the lime and guess what the whole thing flipped over I'm gonna put a little clip of that video I had to stop what I was doing clean up the counter clean up the, the floor and it was syrup guys red syrup so you can imagine but guess what that didn't slow me down okay hey guys good morning let me show you the power of the devil got up this morning look i'm making some syrup with lime everything is going good for me flowing for me to cook and then go to church and out of the blues my whole jug of juice turned over i don't know how and i don't know why but guess what i just rebuked the devil and i just told him try again try again because in a more than god i'm still going to church look i'm still going yeah that still didn't stop me because i know god got me he got me covered and i'm coming out this morning i'm going to church so i'm making some rice and peas with the pigtail which we boiled out the pigtail since yesterday so we prepped everything and i soaked the peas overnight so what i have on the stove right now i have some pork I'm making some jerk pork in the oven so I started it on top of the stove so when I push it in the oven it kind of cut the cook time in half so that's what I'm doing let me show you look guys I put this on I'm gonna put it in the oven soon I know it would taste better on on the grill but guess what I am not gonna have the time today to do the grill so this is gonna go right in the oven so right now it's it's almost halfway cooked so I'm gonna transfer it in a one of those baking pans and then I'll finish it off in the oven so guys here's the juice this whole thing flipped over this is new juice that I'm making yeah I just got up the camera on now. So me, her, and Kelly we going to church, and George going to his church. George go to a different church, guys. When I met him, he was already going to that church, but it's a huge church. I don't think anybody would know you in that church. It's like one of those mega churches. So the church we attend is like a more smaller church. Like, yeah, guys, as I was saying, the church that we attend, it's a more family-based church. If one of us is missing one week, trust me, somebody is going to notice. But Jarvis Church is so big, I don't think nobody would even miss you if you're missing for a month. That's how big it is. For me, I believe in somebody knowing me in case something happens you know they know me they know us because they've been seeing our faces consistently since about for the past three months or so
I just added some hot water to the pork because when I'm cooking meat, I don't add the cold water. I always add some boiling water or hot water from the pie. So that's what I just did. So this is the pigtail. We boiled this like about three times yesterday because I don't know, I don't like to boil out the, all the salt from the pigtail because to me it take away the taste. And this is the, the kidney beans, the red peas. I'm using five cans of coconut milk. I got this syrup from the Jamaican store. This one is cherry. I have a cherry. I had a pineapple, but the first one that spilled, the first juice that spilled, I used all I used the pineapple in that the balance that I have left. And I had some sorrel and that's all gone. But this one, we are continuing with the Here it is guys, now I'm gonna push this in the oven. So this is just the sauce from the pork that I just made. I'm gonna leave it here later when I come from church. I'm gonna make up a nice little gravy. So guys, let me try to explain what's going on here. I was trying to record two videos at the same time one was gonna be uploaded to facebook where i was making what we in jamaica call barefoot rice and peas which is rice and peas with um pigtail so this is what i was making here but unfortunately i did not show it on camera but you'll see towards the end of the video so what i'm gonna do now we're gonna stop cooking go to church and come back and then we pick up from there. Okay guys, so I went to church, I came back. I started this before I went to church. So I'm making a one pot rice and peas. I have some pigtail in it. So I cooked the peas and the pigtail before I went to church. And when I came back, I put it in the oven. So that's what you were looking on there. And before I went to church, I cooked the pork. So I'm basically done. And if you have never yet subscribed, look. Come over now. What are you waiting on?